What's up, everybody? It's the Martian Comic Hunter coming at you with another video. Man, um, got a little bit of a news for everybody here. Um, unfortunately, I guess I should say, um, I'm going to be kind of disconnected for a little bit from the YouTube community only because I have to move uh, back to California. Um, so I'm originally from California, currently staying in Florida. Um, and the reason kind of why I moved out here to Florida was because of my job, but now I'm getting kind of the call to move back uh, to California and got to kind of pack up my stuff here really quickly and move out uh, in the next 15 days, uh, which is kind of tough to do. So uh, move out date is September 15th. Uh, by the time all my stuff is packed and delivered and whatnot, it takes about a week to get out there. Um, you know, my car is going to get out there in about... You know 10 days after that and then kind of uh, take about a week and a half to kind of fix up the house and get my stuff all um, you know unpacked and kind of settled in so um, really the next 30 days or so is just going to be packing moving cross country unpacking not really looking forward to that stuff uh, unfortunately I'm gonna be in a temporary stay which means all my stuff uh, particularly my comics are going to be in storage, which um, I'm just super, super bummed about. So, um, unfortunately, I'm just going to, you know, have to be on the sidelines um, for um, the next uh, month to two months, um, really. So, uh, really unfortunate about that. I'm still going to be looking at vids, still going to be commenting. Um, you know, may get the urge to pick something up or two, but... To be honest with you, right now my funds are really going to be tied up in uh, really saving up um, for a house. Um, you know, uh, this gives me an opportunity to move back home, uh, save uh, save some money, and um, buy a home. So that's kind of um, what's on the table. I think I'm pretty pretty much probably going to be unloading, um, uh, you know, some some comics here and just kind of selling, um, which I should probably have done anyways, but. Um, Anyways, I uh, don't want to prolong this too long, but just want to keep everybody um, or let everybody know that I'll be kind of disconnected for the next, I'm probably going to be honest with you, two months. Um, but again, I'll be doing vids. Um, so I uh, did manage to pick up some books. Uh, these are going to be local comic shop pickups, uh, eBay, um, things of that nature. So um, let's get into it. Uh, first book is going to be The Supreter Spider-Man, number 31. Um, this is a J. Scott Campbell variant. Um, as a matter of fact, there is a this is a connecting cover. Um, I'm assuming 30 and 32 would be the next books there. Um, or is it... I can't remember. It's a three-part uh, connecting cover. Don't remember if this is the third part or the middle. But anyways, it's somewhere within that range. Uh, cool book. Really thick book at that. Uh, so uh, really happy about this. It's a great uh, J. Scott Campbell cover, to be honest with you. So, um, you know, some of his uh, stuff gets really, um, I'm not going to say old, but very similar. Um, but this here, this body is really cool. So like like how he draws that. So cool beans there. Uh, next book is going to be Wolverine, uh, number 66, uh, Old Man Logan. Um, this is in phenomenal condition. I had to pick this up um, just because of the grade. So uh, cool beans there. Um, also managed to pick up uh, Green Lantern 141, uh, first appearance of Omega Men. So been seeing this on a couple hauls, um, ran into it, a couple bucks, no brainer. Uh, was doing some digging in some of the Batman Adventure comics. Um, did manage to pick up this beautiful number 18. Um, and also the last issue, number 36. So really, really happy about these two um, issues here. Again, many po people point this out um, already, but you know, if you look in the background, all 36 issues are illustrated on there, um, including uh, BA-12, which is right there. So um, cool, cool, cool stuff there. Um, this is just kind of a random pickup, um, but I did like the cover, so I just grabbed it because of that uh this is a hulk um 284 um i just i just thought it was a vibrant cover um loved a yellow cover at that 
we got the leader, Captain America, um, you know, Iron Man, She-Hulk, Thor, um, and the rest of the crew there. So, uh, cool pickup. It was only a buck. So, um, you know, if anything, it's it's one of uh, it fills in uh, uh, part of my run. I'm working on this run as well. Um, as a matter of fact, I've really I gotta really think about what I'm doing as far as my collection is concerned. Um, I've kind of tailored off from um, what I started collecting, and that was really with uh, runs. Um, and that really, really fulfilled me. And I think part of that was because of the amount of books. So quantity over quality, but now it's it's kind of been uh, quality over quantity. So um, it just, you know, it's just one of those things where you just evolve. I'm hoping to go back, to be honest with you, and go back to filling some of my runs. And maybe because of this break and because you know you could pick up comics you know one or two dollars a piece i may go back to that um i don't really show too many filler issues uh, on any of my hauls i just kind of store them away but this is something i just want to kind of showcase i guess um also picked up um you know 350 which i think is a freaking awesome cover um with thing the doom and uh, hulk there as well shout outs to you my brother um in uh, Hawaii, the Doom 143. Um, and also picked up uh, 354, uh, which is just a phenomenal, phenomenal cover. So a lot of cool uh, covers on, uh, you know, the Gray Hulk McFarlane run. So um, cool stuff there. Uh, this is a classic cover for me, at least. It resonates a lot with my childhood as I was a big Wolverine fan. So... Um, you know, 196. I, I own a couple copies of this. Um, I'm not gonna say I pick them up every time, but um, I saw this one in pretty good condition. Had to add a second or even a third one, um, to be honest with you, um, of this cover. So, uh, whatever. Um, again, just just a classic Wolverine um, um, suit. Uh, again, for me, this is the Wolverine that I know and I love, and I hope to see one day back on. A splash page or two on a cover, so um, we'll see. We'll see what Marvel does with him. Uh, number two hundred, just uh, just a phenomenal cover. Again, didn't pick this up. Nothing but the cover, um, and two hundred at that. So um, cool stuff. My wife's phone is ringing, but I'm rolling with this. Um, also picked up a Captain America number three sixty. Um, just a, a cool, not only a cool cover, but uh, first appearance of Crossbones. So, um, cool beans there. Um, I just recently seen this on uh, Rags um, Comic Hall. And, you know, because I just seen it on his hall, went uh, to the Iron Man. Uh, sure enough, uh, 319, 320, and 321 uh, were right there. So, first appearance of the Ghost. Um, so again, uh, thank you, uh, Rags143, uh, for, uh, putting this on your hall and just impulsively going to Iron Man and picking up this, uh, uh, this little lot here. And shout outs to you, my brother, as well. Um, also, just a random, um, J. Scott Camel, uh, Danger Gold number one. Um, I don't know. Just saw it, picked it up. Um, astonishing uh, X-Men number one. This is a freaking awesome uh, Terry Dotson cover um, with Phantom X. Uh, I think he's a pretty cool character um, that you could really do a lot of. I mean, cool costume. Um, and, you know, I don't know. It just kind of underplayed. Uh, a lot of upside to this character. Um, so we'll see. We'll see where, where Marvel, Marvel takes him as well. Uh, Edge of Venom Verse. Oh man, I, I wish I had my invoice here, and I think I did. I was saving this one for um, the Doom. Um, yeah, so here it is. Um, you can see comic exposure. Um, this is the actual date where I purchased, June 29th at 8.50 p.m. Uh, and yeah just got this book not so long ago so 
Um, comic exposure, you, your shipping really sucks, and I will not be buying from you guys anymore. But um, I did, did, and the only reason why I wanted uh, went to comic exposure was uh, for this Edge of Spider Verse number one, um, in Huck Lee cover. Um, just a beautiful cover, man. Uh, you know, the 9.2 crew really, really brought this uh, individual um, in the forefronts, to be honest with you. And uh, it, it's, it's, it's get, he's getting his, uh, his due, um, to be honest with you. And um, I, I think the 9.2 crew um, kind of started this trend with the In Huck Lee, particularly that Hulk cover. Uh, which is freaking awesome. I uh, haven't been able to chase, or I'm still chasing that down. Um, but this is just a gorgeous, gorgeous, gorgeous cover, man. This thing is just beautiful. So, love his artwork. Um, another book that I feel just doesn't get any, any, any credit is this amazing Spider-Man number 15. Uh, this is a freaking awesome David Lopez cover. Love the way he's drawn uh, X-23 on there. Um, but again, it just doesn't go for anything. Um, I mean, I could put this cover up with almost any. And I, I don't know, I just think it's got a lot going for it. Beautiful, beautiful cover. Um, and part of the reason why this book doesn't go for much um, is because of this one right here. Um, I think when this came out... Um, there's a lot of hype around this Amazing Spider-Man number 15 and not so much the variant. So this has really taken on to be a better cover um, opposed to the to the David Lopez cover. I can make the argument that I like this variant cover over it. Um, but you be the judge. Let me know. Drop a note. Um, and then finally, finally, um, big, big, big uh, Gillian March uh, fan. I'm really, really happy to pick up this uh, uh, Superman Wonder Woman number three, uh, Gillian Marge. Just, just a gorgeous cover. Again, he draws his females very similar um, with those eyes, um, and just gorgeous. I think it's, I, I love it. I, I know some people don't. Um, I, I don't know. Uh, to me, this is. Phenomenal, phenomenal cover. I, I love the way he draws his uh, females, particularly the eyes, uh, just kind of those glass eyes. So, um, love it. Uh, but obviously, the big, big book um, is going to be the Cable uh, X Force number one. Uh, one in, what is it? One in 500? Uh, oh no, it's one in 150. My bad. Uh, one in 150 um, Cable X Force variants. Um, this thing is a freaking stud, man. I swear to God, this thing is super clean, super white, um, just, just phenomenal, phenomenal cover. Um, unfortunately, it's gonna, I'm going to see how I could, uh, pack this and extra pack this on this move. I'm so freaking terrified of how my comics are going to be shipped across country um, and clearly one, some of my expensive books, I'm going to wrap and double wrap and, uh, you know, put in Gemini, my, uh, Gemini mailers individually, um, and just, you know, just be extra, extra cautious. Um, please guys cross your fingers out there for me and my move and particularly some of my variants. So, um, so that's it. That's my haul. Um, again, guys, I really appreciate um, everybody watching my vids. Um, I've been commenting a lot. I'm, everybody's been doing a great job on, on picking up some phenomenal, phenomenal covers. So um, that's it for me. I hope, I hope to see you uh, or to hear from you guys here pretty soon. Till then, uh, Martian Comic Hunter out.